Ain't nobody flyer, young nigga, nobody higher. When I pull out this, now watch how fast it's when this expire. I never trust a nigga, never will I trust a hoe. Bittersweet young nigga with some nice clothes. Yo, what is up, guys? It's JJ2K, and I have been gone for a minute. And I want to get into that very soon, but one thing I want to say is that I am not dead. Um, that has came around a lot, and I've tried to record this video for the past week or so, and it's just, it's felt really weird because I've been out for around two months, and yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with it. So, this is my first video back in a while, so like I said, I do apologize for being gone, but if you guys did see the title of the video, um, basically what happened is that I got into a car wreck, right, and it screwed me up for a while. I'm going to get into like what happened and everything, but first thing I do want to say before I go into this, um, I'm going to tell you guys something that's very important in this video, so if you guys can get anything out of my experience, please at least listen to what I'm trying to say, and you know, it's very serious, not even going to lie, but, but life is serious, man, you can take it for granted all you want, but then, you know, something might happen and bam, you're gone. It's a, it's a very serious topic and like I'm trying to lighten the mood as much as I can but I just wanted to post this video more or less because I really didn't want to go into just posting 2k videos etc without really letting you guys know what happened to me and why I was gone for two months and you know if I just post a regular video I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't feel right to me or to you guys you guys would still be wondering so I just want to get this video out of the way for right now um regular videos will be coming up on my channel now that I am back and somewhat healthy so before I get into my story and what happened, I just want to know one thing really quickly. I asked it last year, so I might as well ask it again. What did you guys get for Christmas? What did you give someone for Christmas? And how was your Christmas in general? How was your guys' holidays? Just let me know down in the comment section below. Easy as that. Just tell me what you got, honestly. I just want to. I really do want to know. So let's get into my story and what happened during the holidays for me. Um, I had gotten off. It was I think it was a couple Tuesdays ago. And we had gotten right out of school. So fast forward a day later after school, right? First day off and break, I'd wanted to go early Christmas shopping, right? So I took my mom and my aunt. Basically what happened with that was it was the worst decision I could have possibly made. Um, not only was there a bunch of holiday traffic, everybody was out. Wrong day to go anywhere, honestly. So the thing is, I wasn't even driving. I was in the back seat. Reason being is because one, I wanted to get my mom something really special for Christmas. And I was just looking on the internet what I could buy her. And honestly, I really only made her go with me is because I really didn't want to buy her, for example, like a necklace, right? And she didn't like it. I know it's Christmas time and it's you're supposed to be giving, right? And I, I know she would still like it, but I really didn't want to buy her something that she wouldn't enjoy. I feel like it just ruined it. So they came with me, right? It was my mom and my aunt. I was in the back seat, And like I said earlier about the holiday traffic, nobody knows where they're going. People from out of town are coming in to visit their family. So the roads are bad. Not only the fact that it snowed the night before, so I figured, hey, let's go to the mall. I told her to get in the car, right? And then five minutes later, we're going down the road, and there's this car that's going, I would say, 30 and like a 45, right? So I know the shortcut in order to get past these cars, right? So basically what happened, I was like, Mom, at the next lift, I want you to take the left. It'll zoom past this traffic, and we'll be able to get there quicker. So basically she says yes. And I guess assuming that she knew I was looking or, you know, just taking my judgment and the fact that I said that, and then she slows down and then she turns left. Not only, I mean, what she said, she, she really didn't see the car, I guess. In actuality, the car in front of us was sadly blocking oncoming traffic. So like I said, we make a left and then bam, we get T-bone, we get hit by another car. And why this is so important, and this is the reason why I wanted to post this video more or less, is because I was not wearing my seatbelt in the back seat. My mom and my aunt were, and they are perfectly fine other than a couple scrapes, scratches from the glass, etc. Me, on the other hand... Me being in the backseat, being a dumbass, I'm just going to be honest, no seat belt, I'm on the driver's side. Now, since we're turning left and oncoming traffic is coming towards us, we get hit on the passenger side. Now, even though I am on the driver's side sitting in the back seat, that car coming towards us, or more or less, it was a truck, the truck coming towards us hit us at like 40, 45 miles per hour. Now, if it would have been on a highway or a freeway going 60, 65, that definitely would have killed me, no doubt about it. The fact that it was only 40 to 45, honestly, probably saved my life, but I still should have died, and that's the kind of screwed up part about it. Once the impact hit, I flung over, went through the window, and that's it, right? I should have died right there. That is the moment what had happened. Not only one did the car airbag did not go off, meaning I'm not talking about the front airbags. I am talking about the side door airbags. Newer cars do have that, and ours didn't go off for some reason now. I know for sure they should have. The impact... I'll show you the, the pictures of my car, my face, and what basically happened to me. Um, 
I'm just going to tell you guys what happened straight up. I had gotten a mild concussion, tons of scratches on my face. I had to get around 50 stitches, and that's why I'm not really doing a face scan because I do look, I do look bad. I'm not even going to lie. But and I also broke the clavicle in my collarbone, so I basically broke my collarbone. And it might sound bad, but honestly, it could have been so much worse. Other things could have happened, you know what I mean? And I'm very lucky to be alive. And that's basically why I wanted to post this video. I didn't die, but I was in bad condition. And I know there's been worse car crashes. This isn't a video for like for you to feel sorry for me. I just wanted to let you guys know, please wear your seatbelt. Um, even if you're in the back seat, and I'll, just me thinking, I did not expect you know to get into a car wreck. No one does. But a seatbelt definitely would have saved me from a broken collarbone, you know, and a bunch of cuts on my face that were so deep. It was it was really nasty. I'll show you guys a picture. Um, at the video, at the end of the video, I'll show you everything that, f that happened from the crash, the impact and everything. The car honestly did get really screwed up, but luckily it didn't get totaled right. So I do got to send it to a shop to get it fixed. Least I could do was pay for it. But I just wanted to tell you guys, like I said, the seatbelt thing, that is, uh, that is really a serious thing. Like my mom and my aunt are perfectly fine. Like it's just crazy to think compared them compared to me and what could have happened to me. That is the biggest Christmas present I could have ever got is to be living here right now and even to be able to post this video, man. So in ending this video, don't take life for granted, man. I know it's kind of a serious video and I've tried to make the perfect video the past seven days. Um, the background game is obviously 2K. I didn't want to do a face cam just because I look gruesome. I really do. But uh, yeah, like I said, everything will heal. I'll be perfectly fine. I am in decent shape. So with that, like I said, please wear your seatbelt. Don't be a doofus like me because this is not fun. I don't enjoy this, trust me. But uh, yeah, with that, it's been your boy JJ2K. I am out. Peace.